hello. So in this example, I will try to create some foundations. So let's activate Javit and let's look where our foundation tools located. So they are located in structure ribbon in foundation area. So from here you can see I have isolated foundations, mostly used for columns. I have wall foundations, so they mostly use for walls. And I also have slab foundations, so they are in, in, in practice mostly used for maybe elevator shafts, staircase shafts, and sometimes just foundations for simple house. So for using these elements from these examples, uh, I need to create some additional objects. So maybe some columns, some walls, so I can get and see how I can use these objects. So let's just draw some basic walls. I select wall, draw the wall, and for wall settings I would like to go it from level 1, from level 0 to level 1. Okay, and I can draw some, create some columns. Okay, so let's uh, use isolated objects and Progress gives me some uh, notes what I don't have any loaded foundations here. So I press yes, I want to load some foundations and I select my, my metric library. And from here I should look for folder which is called structural foundations structural foundations in here you can see some types of structural foundations in my example I have uh, the loaded additional projects and modified templates so from here I will select just simple uh, to to pile foundation Okay, two piles, two piles, let's say this one, and I will use it for my project. I press open, and now I can select what kind of uh, insertion tools I would like to use for my foundations. Uh, I can put it at grids, or I can put it at columns. So let's use at columns, and I just select all columns and foundations is created and they automatically is moved to the bottom part of the column also i can put foundations just putting one by one and from here i see my columns is uh, created uh, in, in down of my level zero so I can move them to the other part to level zero level one and you see automatically foundations have changed their parameters and moved with my columns next foundation type wall foundation type so from here you can select wall foundations if you uh, cannot see uh, right settings so you just go here and it's better to rename so you can get some additional information uh, what kind of foundations you are using and putting some dimensions maybe some other objects so from the name you should see all the information what is inside the settings so you can save time you don't need to open all the settings and from the name you just see okay this uh, foundation type is okay for my for my task and let's go to 3d model and i select wall and foundation is created and the last foundation type is a slab foundations i just activate and i can use any drawing tools 
let's say I will draw just simple slab for my foundations. And that's all. Three types foundations. You can create them quite easily.